Think of it like a... A rock concert. Yeah, like a rock concert. But big, like at the Civic. The Mellon. And you have all of these fans packed in. Lots and lots of them. All squeezed together in this... Big dome. Totally sold out. Aerosmith, January 1990. And everybody is talking and, and communicating with each other before the opening act, right? So there's this energy that's, that's being passed around. And the longer we wait, faster it goes. Firing from one person to another. Multiplying. Getting harder to control. And then all of a sudden, it happens. The stage lights up. And all that energy that's being passed around suddenly shoots in one direction. All at the same time. An abnormally intense wave of energy. <laughs> Enough to throw things off. That's uh, one way to look at it. Come on. Whoa. Dude, this is insane. Sweet concession stand. Oh, please be careful. I love it. I mean, imagine when this place was clean. There's some guy back here slinging popcorn and, and making sodas and hot dogs for all the kids. Yeah. Yeah, I bet it was really something. I mean, there's just so much history. There's got to be like 50 years of stories. More. 50? I don't know. This is, this is looking pretty 90s to me. No, 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 no. I mean, look at the place like this. You see all this cheesy colors and all this cookie cutter stuff. That might be 90s. Come here. Come on. Look. Okay. See that screen? A billboard? Screen. This used to be a drive-in. Really? Mm hmm Oh. God, I'm telling you, so many ghosts. Like, come nightfall, a place like this is just teeming with people. Way before all these pools, there's just, like, lots of cars and, like, Humphrey Bogart and Kale Brunette. I mean, look at this. It's amazing. Kind of cool. Hey! Where are you guys? Hey, hey, we're over here. Oh, hey! Hey, Bobby went up to where the big slide was. There's an arcade and an old wave pool with weeds. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Tell her we'll be there in a minute. Okay. Oh, hey, did you guys do something with Zeke's phone? Tell Zeke he needs to live life. Okay, well, uh, we'll be up there living life. It's Pencil's 90s, huh? Give me some drums, dude. Whoa, dude, you need some synthesizer in there, man. But I'm bound, bound, but down, down. Hold on, hold on. We're playing your song, man. Oh, all right. Oh, man, I love this song. Woo! Yeah, there used to be drive ins all up and down at 66, and like. Thousands of them all over the country. They were pretty much the main source of entertainment in the 50s and 60s. And then in the 70s, they just started changing them and shutting them down. I guess they just weren't practical anymore. But what came along in the 70s? Water park. Yeah, the Great American Water Park. Yeah, this place was totally a drive-in, which is hilarious because they're completely different things. Wholesome family fun, only open during the day, versus only open at night, attracting really seedy characters, you know? Cooling off in public, heating up in private. Yeah, I guess I just don't really associate drive-ins with seedy characters. Oh, yeah, I mean, totally. Just think about it. It's basically a place you can go and do private things in public. Because you're in your car and, you know, like, if you want to pork, you can pork. Pork? I'm sorry, I don't know your sensitivity to foul language. It's not like I haven't heard the word before. <laughs> hey, you know what they used to call these places? Mm -hmm. Passion pits. Huh. You know. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? <laughs> it's a band. The Passion Pits. Almost. <laughs> oh. Don't you judge me too. I'm not judging yes, you. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm new at this. I play the triangle. I know. It's fine. I don't even like that band. That's that's more Sam's bag. You don't you don't have to know that stuff. Well, maybe I want to. I just 
I have to learn. How do you know about all this stuff? Like this and, you know, Route 66 and America? Mm. Wikipedia. Hey guys, we may have a problem. You think the waitress read it on us? Man. Let's just try and go back to the car, get in quietly and go. No. Well, maybe it's something else, okay? Maybe it'll just be fine. No, we can't get caught. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, we were just hanging out, okay? We just wanted to check this place out, okay? It's no big deal. They'll just give us a slap on the wrist, and then maybe it'll be okay. I don't think it's because we were trespassing. I think our parents know. I think they're looking for us. Just being paranoid. No, I, I saw something on TV when we were in the diner. It was on... Breaking news, there was a bomb attempt at Music Matters. What? I mean, it didn't go off. But yeah, everybody's really rattled, and it's all over the national news. Great. I better know who did it. It's that one weirdo who plays the sax. Well, our parents definitely know. Wait, why didn't you say anything? I didn't want to freak you guys out. Oh, smart. She let us go off and trespass instead. What are we doing? Uh, uh, I'm giving up, right? I mean, we're done. No, I'm going to try to get back there. Dude! I think I can do it. The grass is taller, and then maybe if I crouch, I don't know, maybe you guys see exit on the other side of the ground. We're gonna be fugitives just so we can make a recording? I can make us a recording! Is it true, or is it a load of crap? What? Just be straight with us. If we're gonna do this, oh, I... My phone is still charging in there. Really anything waiting for us in Los Angeles? Okay, look, nothing is waiting for us anywhere. Not in LA, and not in Pittsburgh. These are the experiences. Right here, deciding to go on, that's ours. But if we want to give it up, we can. To that guy. So do we? Lying down on the bedroom floor One sock on, why am I laughing? There's a crack on the shower door 